Hi guys, my name is Isabella Green. Today I would like to do part two of December update for us. So we had the solstice on December 21st. We had the uh, gateway, 1212 gateway or the Stargate uh, December 12th. We just had our Christmas and uh, things were building up and amplifying and still are building up and amplifying until the 27th which is tomorrow so i wanted to share with you my personal observations and also some things that uh, people have been talking about in my circles and uh, in my own personal experiences so what have we observed First of all, the most uh, obvious one, and I have my cheat sheet right there, the most obvious one is sensitivity being through the roof. Do we feel everything way more than before? I'm certainly noticing that, and I don't really know how much uh, more I can possibly feel, but yeah, you know, things that we feel and we see, uh, we see so much more than we used to. I noticed that my uh, what's called psychic gifts, uh, psychic abilities, or my supernatural gifts, whatever you know, the the new human state of being that amplified tremendously. I literally can now see stuff that I have not seen before, and also like I can look at the picture of, of a couple, right? And and I would look at them and. and they would be complete or barely I barely know them and I would just like come across that picture on online for example right like on Facebook feed and I would look at them and get this feeling like oh these people are having relationship trouble and the next day they reach out to me and one of them reaches out to me to say hey you know we're having relationship trouble oops or something I would think about or I would even write a post and say hey if this and this happens then that happens and then couple days later people say hey you know you just said that and it happened it's like whoa how, what's happening it literally is I'm literally at, at the point where all of the information really comes into my mind all kind of by itself and also uh, if I want to collect information or I, I have my uh, questions answered uh, everything is answered in meditations in such clear manner it's never been this clear uh, before but there is a trade-off here too because I noticed that uh, information that used to be in my head like lines from movies titles of movies titles of songs performances performers you know all that like trivia kind of thing even like the most common names names of animals names of birds <laughs> like like this stuff that uh you you kind of carry in your brain right because you you know it but now it takes a while to access that like um i was in a group who were playing a game uh, and I observed that, oh my God, I know that I know that, but I don't remember any of it. Uh, it would take me a while to remember all that. So I guess the trivia or the information that is irrelevant, I guess, is just being wiped out of the hard drive. Uh, however, the answers to, to questions, the answers to like the bigger picture, um, uh, at the fingertips you just have to kind of zoom in and and receive that but not to you know lines from movies and the, or the movie titles right so that was funny I just noticed that and I've been noticing that that um, it's becoming for me personally it has become this month kind of difficult to uh, talk or to find the the right words even however I would look at the person and I would know exactly where they're at what they're thinking um, the c communication is on the non non-verbal level but then when when the words um, need to be brought up or you need to say like, I need to speak in words <laughs> like oh my god I can't, I can't even find the right words and whatever comes out it just sounds kind of strange because it doesn't match the you know the level of that telepathic communication so that's been happening <laughs> um, the non-physical uh, aspect getting louder and the everyday 3d mundane kind of stuff is kind of you know getting a little bit on the back seat there so i noticed that um another thing 
that has been talked about and spoken about this month a lot is that drama amplified well we get that every holiday season more or less right but this year we really know what it's all about right uh drama amplifies so we can process the issues that are causing that drama attracting that drama and so those who are doing the work and and uh doing that uh, emotional processing are really able to move past that stuff really quickly and, and arrive in a place of peace and balance. But um, yeah, people being super sensitive, super touchy, uh, those who need to be victimized, they're finding everybody to blame like around themselves. Those who want to be... Um, triggered they pretty much find it triggers in just about every breath everybody else takes around them so people people on that spectrum are even also very sensitive and so very explosive as well and so that's what i think that was talked about um when we said that there was a intense polarization happening right but the ones who are doing the work they would observe the triggering uh, or some sort of drama starting and so they will kind of pull out of it and and do their work and then pff, the next day it's done you know it's like it literally is very uh obvious that things are just brought to our attention through external environment through interaction with people so that we could process uh, and let go of whatever needs to be let go of so we can face the new year and the new energy in in the new state of being um yeah the loneliness and rejection that's all that's all very strong around the holidays anyway always has been and uh it's again it's it's a package of issues that we need to look at and see why would you still feel lonely why would you uh, attract rejection and i'm going to do a whole separate video on processing rejection uh through through dragon fire out of all things that's a that's a funny that's a fun video it's coming right up um and then uh time being funny right how long ago was december 21st feels like a year ago doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> it was just five days ago or something. Yeah, but it feels like, to me personally, it feels like it's been a year since. Um, something that happened with uh, a lot of people, uh, and that was the light object activity. Uh, I personally experienced that uh, around December 12th, 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 exactly on Tuesday the 12th or the night, Monday to Tuesday. And then I started just sharing and talking with people and they saw uh, light objects all over. And I'm not talking about the December 22nd questionable SpaceX activity or whatever, we're still deciding what that was, right? Um, I'm talking straight out light objects. So uh, I woke up at 3.40 a.m., just opened my eyes and I have a big window in front of my face when I wake up um, and there is this big bright light shining right onto my face and so I was wide awake immediately you know so I'm looking at it and I'm thinking is this what I think it is because it's bigger brighter than any star and it's not moving and I'm curious right so I get up and get to the window and the minute I start moving it moves and it moved a little bit like that uh, horizontally very rapidly like and stopped and i'm looking at it going oh i know i know what it is and then it does that you know what they do like and like and stops into different in a different location and again like shining right onto my face and so we played like that or it played with me like that i literally felt like it was looking right at me you know because it woke me up <laughs> um and the interesting thing is that I heard a few people, I heard a person from California said that, oh, that night around 1 a.m. I was standing on the porch, she said, and she saw three of these objects come in and she described very similar behavior. I only had one. And then we had a whole group gathering and, and we discussed that, yeah, like people around 
uh, mid-December saw a number of those objects. Uh, again, I'm not talking about December 22nd, you know, the whole big uh, you know, Santa Claus inside inside the light <laughs> space. But uh, the, you know, the familiar ones, the ones that yeah, do this kind of you know, stuff. And so it played with me for a little bit and, and then it just faded out, you know, just zoom gone just like that like they do and the minute it was gone the meteor like the a comet or a meteor just went across the shooting star with the very long white tail right across that uh, space where the object was right before so pff, what a night right that was that was monday to to tuesday uh, december 11th to december 12th um, then I also observed, uh, oh, the dragons, right? The dragons. And I'm going to talk about it in a separate video about, about processing rejection through dragon fire, like I said, but how many people I, I, you know, the dragons have, I always there, but it kind of been quiet for a while. December dragons are through the roof from everywhere. And I heard about the dragon aspects coming in for, for, to assist people or coming in to do the work or just showing up in dream time or showing and just basically showing up so loudly in December for so many people and really most unlikely characters who would never even say the word dragon to me before and all of a sudden they're like yeah you know not only I saw a dragon but I also became a dragon what do you think about that I'm like well <laughs> you know that's familiar so the dragons uh here we're doing we were doing some really intense work with the dragons and uh, anger through the dragons, rejection through the dragons, processing, process, <laughs> processing <laughs> through the dragons. Oh my God, I can't even speak. All right, talking about not not being able to speak. So um, then, one more thing I observed in my own personal experience, and then we discussed it, of course, in the group. And oh my God, everybody supports, or like a lot of people saying, yeah, 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 me too, me too. So. Um, Social awkwardness kind of uh, amplified a little bit because, again, because you're looking at people and you can read their field, but when you have to speak, it kind of sounds weird, especially around the people who are not necessarily being authentic, right? And so when that non-authentic communication comes in, uh, it... And you're looking at one thing, but you're hearing another thing, and then you're supposed to respond to that other thing, or what are you responding to what you see? And so then things come out kind of funny, and then and then the whole like awkwardness uh, occurs. And so I've seen I've been seeing that um, this month's happening. And then in my personal opinion, in my personal experience, I'll be like, oh my god, what what did I just say? <laughs> what did I just do? What did I just say? Oops. <laughs> Um, I'm feeling, feeling kind of like really weird because the brain is processing multi-layered information at the same time, you know, you like, you know, what, <laughs> what this person is really thinking or what they are, uh, projecting, you know, what kind of frequency energy they're projecting really, but they're saying, saying something else to you and then you respond somewhere in between and it's like, whoa. <laughs> um, so that's, that's interesting too, I think. Um, well, I think I've covered uh, a little bit here for you. We are moving to the new year of 2018. This is going to be a beautiful year, very powerful uh, year number two. So very powerful uh, beginning for us. Um, so I would like to, for us as, as the planet and for us as humanity, for us as light workers, so I would like to uh, wish you all a very, very happy uh, new year 2018, new beginnings, uh, expansion of your gifts, expansion of your abilities, abundance through the roof and anything else your hearts desire i love you thank you for tuning in today take care namaste